does this look familiar? So today in, in this lecture, we're going to look, we're going to go back to the summary that we had at the end of the lecture on energy. And we're going to dive into one part of that, which is cellular respiration. Our entire lecture today is on the process of cellular respiration. We're starting with cellular respiration because it's a little bit more, I don't know, it's a little bit more accessible than uh, photosynthesis because it's happening in our bodies. We can kind of visualize it a little bit better. And it's extremely molecular, which is why our understanding of the process, like what is energy in the first place, that's really key. Hopefully this lecture will kind of solidify that concept for you so that you start to feel a little more comfortable talking about energy, especially in terms of living systems. So we're going to start the lecture on the process of cellular respiration. I don't want you to forget that it's this equation. We'll probably write it down a million times, and yes, you definitely should know it. And we're going to start by looking at the primary organelle involved in cellular respiration, and hopefully you already know that from our previous lectures on the cell. It's the mitochondria. So let's take a look at the mitochondria and, and label the parts that are going to be significant to understanding the process of cellular respiration.